Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I am Star. And the message I heard from God is ordained for catastrophe. The scripture comes from Jeremiah 27, 16 through 22. Then I said to the priests and all these people, this is what the Lord says. Do not listen to the prophet who say very soon now the articles from the Lord's house will be brought back from Babylon. They are prophesying lies to you. Do not listen to them. Serve the king of Babylon and you will live. Why should this city become a ruin? If they are prophets and have the word of the Lord, let them plead with the Lord Almighty that the articles remaining in the house of the Lord and in the place of the king of Judah and in Jerusalem not be taken to Babylon. For this is what the Lord Almighty says about the pillars, the bronze sea, the movable stands, and uh, the other articles that are left in his city, which Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, did not take away when he carried Jehoashim, son of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, in exile from Jerusalem to Babylon, along with all the nobles of Judah and Jerusalem. Yes, this is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says about the things that are left in the house of the Lord and in the palace of the king of Judah and in Jerusalem. They will be taken to Babylon, and there they will remain until the day I come for them, declares the Lord. Then I will bring them back and restore them to this place. Now, y'all, I told y'all, I'm not going to say, let me not say that. I don't want to be, I don't want to be like that. But um, there are a lot of people that are saying that the world is going to come to an end. And, um, you know, God has told me that the world is not going to come to an end. God has already promised us that he would not destroy the world again. He already said he would not completely destroy the world again. And um, in the messages I have received from God, God has said that he is going to build a new Jerusalem. He is going to build a new a new everything. It doesn't include everybody perishing. Yes, God may take out some people that are up to no good, but that doesn't mean everybody is going to be destroyed and everything is going to be destroyed. Um, God is just simply not going to do that. He promised us, okay, if y'all don't remember what the meaning of the rainbow is, he promised us that he would never cause a catastrophe like that to us again. And yeah, I feel like that is literally the message. This is just to clear some things up for anyone that may be confused about what's going on. The world is not about to come to an end. Everything is not about to fall apart. Yes, God may pull down some strongholds. Yes, God may clear out some things and clear out some places. But God is not going to destroy the entire earth. God is not going to destroy all of his children. God is not going to allow everybody to, it's not going to happen that way. It's not going to be that way. God is not going to allow that to happen. And, you know, I just feel like this is the message that God is saying. Um, no man knows the time or the hour. Nobody knows but God. And that's it. Okay. And that is the message. Okay. Um, sorry to anybody that, maybe trying to prep and get ready because, but it is what it is, you know? Um, yeah, it is what it is. Um, and even in a sense, the prepping and get ready, I'm going to say it like this. It's nothing wrong with prepping for if, um, a financial doom happens or, a uh, a attack or, um, it's, it's okay for prepping for if um, a disease or something like that, but God is not going to destroy the entire earth. And that is just that. That's, I feel like that is what it is. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not going to try to drag it anymore. Um, that is literally what God is saying. He does not want anyone prophesying that the world is about to come to an end because it's not, okay? Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And God is saying that he is not about to destroy entire cities. He is not going to destroy everything, okay? You have to understand that even in a city that is full of sin, there are still people there that are holy. There are still people there that are following God. God is not going to put them in harm. And I feel like... um. 
God is telling me that's why he sends the two by two. That's why he sends out prophets to particular places to see if there is someone that is holy and decide what he is going to do. We do not choose. That's why Jonah was sitting there getting upset at the hill and stumping up and down and rolling all over the place because he went there and he prophesied and the people decided to repent and God decided not to destroy the city. It's not a bad thing. Okay. So, um, yeah, that is the message. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. And God says that doesn't mean that the people will not be under judgment. That doesn't mean he won't be handing out individual punishments to specific people, but he's not about to destroy the entire city. And even with that, we should not ever expect God to destroy anybody for whatever they did. We have to understand that God is the one that chooses anybody's punishment. It is not up to us. God chooses um, how he is going to seek revenge. We don't. All we do, we give the situation completely to God and we walk away from it. And once you do that, then you're not going to be trying to see if this person is going through a hell and high water. You're not going to be looking back trying to see if this person is in some kind of mess or if they're being punished the way that you like them to. It is not of God to do that. You don't want to get into this angry place to where you are trying to um, force God because you can't force God to do nothing. So you don't want to be in a place where you're trying to um, tell God what he should be doing. No, you give it to God and you walk away. And yeah, so this is a message for y'all. No, God is not going to destroy everything. God will have his select people that he will keep there. God will have select people that are going to raise up the new Jerusalem. Even with some of the people that are sinning, you don't know when or where. We don't know the time or the hour, and they may very well just repent just in time. Okay, it doesn't matter. Even if they repent right in the nick of time, it does not matter. You cannot expect God to destroy somebody and they have repented to him. And you cannot expect that God is not going to accept their repentance because that is between them and God. You have to see your way out of it. You can't put yourself in the middle of that because if they wholeheartedly are repenting to God, that is when we rejoice, right? We rejoice when um, people that have been sinning or people that have been living a life of sin come back to God. Because if they are coming back to God, that means they can be better mothers, fathers, um, sisters, brothers, um, kids, um, husband, wives, whatever they are, you know, they are going to be better if they wholeheartedly come back to God. So allow God to decide that. Allow God to deal with that. Don't put yourself in it, okay? And that's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.